In a few of our previous videos, we've been talking a little bit about how to get started with getting a credit card. It's going to require you to look at your personal credit and that can be a little bit scary. And, and so a question that I often get and have seen is how do I build my business credit? Uh, what's the process like for doing that? And how do I get to the point where I don't have to rely so much on my personal credit and, and worry about the taking a hit by myself. We're going to get into that in today's video. Hi everybody, I'm Brandon Gustafson. I own and operate two assisted living facilities and I created this channel to help people like you learn the ins and outs of investing in assisted living. Welcome to Assisted Living Investing. <laughs> to the channel happy to have you here today in our last video we talked a little bit about how do you get a business credit card what's that process like what do you need to do in order to get that business credit card and today we're going to be getting into how do you build business credit we talked a lot about um, needing your personal credit in order to kind of get started especially with a, a credit card but how do you get to the point where you've built up the credit um, in your business so you don't have to rely on yourself and just rely on your own personal credit uh, we're going to get into that in, in today's video. Um, one of the first things that you need to do is form an LLC or incorporate your business. And I've talked about kind of business structures and LLCs. I'll link that up above so you can go in and watch those videos and learn a little bit about LLCs and how they how they work. Um, you know, it, it is possible for you to get a personal credit card and use it for your business. You could do that, um, but a lot of, and, and really a lot of business owners do that, but it's, it's best to kind of keep things um, separate. You, we've talked about this a lot in the past. Uh, it's best to keep your business life and your personal life separate um, so you just don't run into any issues. And having that entity um, created and properly structured is just going to help you uh, keep things separated, but it's also what you need in order to start building business credit. Um, so in addition to the benefits that you get from creating an LLC, um, it's also going to help you start building this business credit, uh, which is going to help you out in the long run as well, especially as you're going, you're planning to be an assisted living facility uh, for the long haul. Uh, you want to kind of keep these things separate. It's, it's just going to benefit you quite a bit there. Now, as far as building your credit, um, once you've formed your LLC and you have your EIN, your tax ID number, um, you can apply for a credit card or you can get a loan, something like an SBA loan, um, like, like I've done in the past. And I'll talk about SBA lending um, up above in, in a previous video. Um, so, and also um, getting a credit card and kind of what that process is like and what you should look for in getting a credit card. Uh, but you'll also um, want to open a business bank account um, is another key thing that you all want to do. It's not necessary um, in order for you to get a credit card, but to help you start building your credit, having that bank account in place is going to help you um, keep those finances separate and um, start developing a relationship with the bank so they can start reporting to the business credit bureaus, uh, which is going to help you out as well. Um, you know, that way you can make sure you're also making those payments on your credit card or loans or uh, anybody else that you're working with that needs to get paid on time with those vendors and things like that. There's a lot of advantages to having that business bank account uh, that we've talked about again in a previous video. Uh, but another big one is it's going to help you build your credit. Uh, and so that's going to be something that's key for you to do. Uh, the next thing would be using business credit cards um, to, to build your credit, right? So getting a business credit card is really a great way to start building that credit. It's just like, you know, when you're a teenager or uh, you're young or you're doing this for your children, um, you're, you get them a credit card when they're, when they're young or you add them as a, an authorized payee or something like that. I can't remember what it's called on your credit card to help them start building your credit. It's very similar to that. Getting a credit card is going to help start building that credit up so that um, you have a history, um, which is what you need really when you're starting to build that credit. So some ways that you can build that credit are uh, with a credit card is making sure that you're making your payments on time and do it every single time. I can't stress that enough. Don't skip a payment. Even if you're not making the full payment, make at least the minimum payment. You don't have to pay off that full balance every time. Uh, Dave Ramsey would tell you otherwise, um, and, and you should do that. I'm not telling you not to do it, um, but you don't have to do it. But make sure you are making a payment every single time, right? Um, so just make sure that you're doing that. 
if you need to carry a little bit of a balance to, to help you out, that's okay. Um, actually, carrying a little bit of a balance can help your credit. Our companies like that. Um, and, and so it's just going to kind of help you out a little bit there. Um, but I personally like to pay everything off um, in full on a monthly basis um, or even more uh, frequently than that. But make sure at least making that minimum payment. That's going to be the big thing that you could do. Next would be getting loans or lines of credit with other um, lenders that report to business credit bureaus. Uh, so something like an SBA loan is, is going to be great in helping you build your credit. Uh, those types of things, just making sure you're making those payments on a regular basis. It's going to help you out a lot in building your business credit. And once you've opened up an account, uh, make sure you keep it open and active. Uh, so um, closing a line of credit, one of the big things that the credit card companies take into consideration when they're looking at credit and uh, that the credit bureaus will look at is length of time that the credit, the line of credit is open. And so the longer that you have it there, the more stable you are, uh, the more stable you look as a user of credit. And so your credit core will credit score will increase. And so once you've opened a line, make sure that it stays open and make sure you keep it active. And you can do that easily enough by just making purchases with it on a regular basis. But if you um, say you, you have been using this card for forever and you decide, oh, I'm going to get a brand new card um, and start using that. And you forget about the old one and it's been two years and you've never used it. The credit card company may just go in and close that. Uh, that's going to hurt your credit. So make sure that you keep that card open, keep it active, make sure that you're using it on a consistent basis. Um, but doing those things are, are going to help improve your, your credit score. Um, you know, Cause if you, if you don't do that, it, it's just going to hurt your, your credit. Um, and it's, it's uh, in addition to improving your credit, it's always nice to have just an extra line of credit, um, having multiple credit cards, while it can be difficult to balance and something that you want to take into consideration, is this something I'm comfortable with? Uh, but if you do that, um, you could open up, you know, two lines of credit that have $10,000 on each of them. And now you have $20,000 in credit that could help you in the event of, of a big issue, which, um, you know, you hope doesn't happen, but if you have a furnace go out or, um, you buy all new beds for all of your residents or, you know, who knows what is going to come up where you just need to float that payment for a little bit or kind of finance that payment uh, for a little bit of time. Those lines of credit are, are a really good opportunity for you to do that. And the more that you have available to you, uh, the easier, the less stressful it's going to be as long as you're staying on top of it and, and using the credit how uh, you should be using it. The next thing is uh, to monitor your credit. So once you've got your 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 everything in line, you've got your credit card, you've got your loan, and you're building your credit, you want to make sure you're keeping an eye on it, making sure that uh, you know something like fraud doesn't happen, um, and and things are looking the way that they should. Somebody's not opening a, a new line of credit under your tax ID or anything like that. Um, the business credit bureaus are actually a little bit different from the personal ones. Um, so there's Dun and Bradstreet is the first one. And then the other two are similar to the, um, to your personal, uh, credit companies, um, Equifax and Experian are two names that you've heard, but Dun and Bradstreet is the other one that you probably have not heard of. Uh, but you want to be aware of who those are and make sure that you're just kind of checking in with them. If you do an internet search and, you know, search for how do I check my business credit, you're going to find all kinds of resources on how you do that and how you can kind of stay on top of it and suggestions on how frequently you should be monitoring your credit. But those are things that you want to make sure you're doing because um, having somebody open up a line of credit or uh, having an unauthorized uh, whatever um, get open on your account um, under your social security or your EIN um, is going to hurt your credit quite a bit. So make sure you're monitoring it very similar to your personal credit. You just want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on it. And then the last thing is to just be patient. Um, your credit score, it doesn't going to change overnight. It's just not going to happen. And so you need to just make sure that you are patient with it and, and make sure you're understanding that it's going to take years for you to build that credit up. But once you get to the point where you've got good credit, um, it opens up a lot of doors, a lot of possibilities for you uh, and your business. So just be patient and everything will work out fine. In our next video, we're going to be getting into what is the best small, um, the best small business credit card. So we're going to be talking a little bit about that and how you can determine what is best for you and, and your company and your business as you're getting up and, and getting started. Uh, 
And then just a reminder to, if you want to learn more about investing in assisted living, make sure you visit me on assistedlivinginvesting.net. Uh, on my website, I have some free content, uh, free resources. You can set up a consulting call with me. I'd love to have a conversation with you. And then make sure you follow me on my other social media platforms so we can continue the conversation over there. And remember, it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Keep step by step by step. You will be successful if you just keep making progress every single day. You'll be fine. You'll be successful. You can do this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.